Hey, 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 everybody. I am not in the studio at the moment. I am in the car with my lovely mother. I'm running some errands today, but um, when I come back, I will be in the studio and I have some really cute stuff to show you guys. I'm sure some of you have saw in my Instagram post um, this really cute tray, um, diamond painting tray that I was using that actually had a little bit of color to it or what have you. So when I come back on, I'm gonna show you guys how to make the trays. Um, these are actually the diamond painting trays that you get in your kits, the clear ones, Diamond Art Club. They usually give you the acrylic ones with the little glitter and the sparkle in it. Um, and there, I think there's some other companies out there that'll actually give you a clear tray. So when I come back, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So stay tuned. <music> everybody I am back in the studio I had a lovely day with my mother um, we don't get to see each other that often because she, she's retired but she is so busy all the time I'm busy all the time and so it was just kind of cool um, for us to have a date today um, so we went to Cheddar's um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Cheddar's but Cheddar's is like this kind of restaurant cool restaurant um, pasta salad soup they have the best baked potato soup ever um so i got the lemon pepper the lemon pepper chicken over rice and you get two sides and so i got the loaded baked potato and this was so perfect i love corn of the cob but with the braces i can't eat it i always have to cut it off but they had buttered off the car off the cob corn <laughs> off the cob corn like corn on the cob Okay, corn off the cob. That's what it's called. Buttered corn off the cob. That's what it was. So I had that. And of course, I could not eat all of mine. My mom, she couldn't eat all of hers. So I can't wait for dinner tonight because that's going to be dinner. So enough of this food because I can go on about the food. So we did a, some window shopping. And then we did, you know, we did some shopping around or whatever. So it was just a really great uh, morning slash afternoon. And now, as I promised you guys earlier, that I was going to show you um, a how-to. And so, um, some of you really enjoyed the how-to from last week. Um, we made the little, I'm gonna grab it for you. We made the little caddy to hold our stuff. We took our spare drills, there you go. And you can see it's sparkling all out of control. I didn't do the sides in the back, but, but but you can see that it still has sparkle because remember we made our mixture, our Mod Podge mixture. So see there, look at that, sparkling all out of control like it wanna be. Um, and then um, a magnet goes on the bottom. On this one, I didn't put the magnet on this one but I put a magnet on the bottom so that I can stick it onto the canvas. I've actually got two of these, right? Um, Cause they had two at the $1.25 store. And so, yeah, I still had some mixture left. So I ended up making two. One, I put a magnet on the, bo on the bottom so that I can, um, it can sit stable onto my canvas. So we did that last week, but this week, I am going to show you, this is tech, um, typically a studio vlog, I guess, what I'm doing in the studio, I guess so. Okay, so whatever we want to call it, I'll think of a title for it. So, if you noticed, in my Instagram, guys, I had this tray. Yeah, it kind of matches my shirt, I didn't plan that. So, instead of this, which these trays are fine, um, these are the trays that you get in your kits. Um, as I mentioned, I know DAC, they will put these trays in there and some of the other companies they'll put a tray in, but it's not so clear. Um, they'll come like this, you know, they're not see-through, but we're going to work on the see-through ones because I have an idea for the ones that are not see-through, but we're going to make some of these. And so, don't you like that, guys? It's just, it gives your, it gives your, uh, your diamond painting tray a little more zing, if you will. So, let's jump into what you're going to need. 
Um, we're going to need some Mod Podge. It doesn't matter what kind you get. It doesn't matter if it's the glossy, the satin. It really doesn't matter. Um, we're just using it as an, a clear adhesive. Um, of course, you're going to need a diamond painting tray that you can see through. You're going to need um, a paintbrush. doesn't have to be a big, gigantic paintbrush. And then you're going to need one that's angled. If you don't have an angled one, it's okay. I actually made this because in the brush set that I got, I got tons of paintbrushes. And so what I did, I took my I took my little scissors here and I just kind of trimmed, you know, trimmed at an angle um, to get the angle brush. This is really good for decoupaging. Um, so, okay, so you got your brushes, you got your Mod Podge, and then a napkin. Um, you're going to get these. I got my napkins from Dollar Tree. I think this one I got from... I got this one from Dollar General, but it's still, it was a dollar. It wasn't the dollar 25. Um, it was a dollar. And so you're going to need a napkin, whatever color that you want. Um, and so, yeah, that's what we're going to do. And then you're going to need some parchment. This paper's burned up. I've used it so many times. Um, you're going to need some parchment paper. And then you're going to need just a regular iron but no water in the iron okay so we have our tools that's all you need for this project maybe some paper towel to kind of wipe your hands off um, some water um, to dip your paintbrush in so that it doesn't set up and get hard and that's all you need so what we're gonna do let me go ahead I'm gonna drop the camera down and we're gonna get started on blinging out our kit trays that's what we're gonna do all right, I'll be right back. All right, so let's go ahead and take our napkin. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut out the section that I'm going to be using on the tray. Even though it's a small tray, I'm not going to use the entire napkin, but I want to cut out that square just to make sure that I get it fully covered. And then we'll work on taking off the part that we don't need. It's going to take a little bit of Mod Podge rub it on our fingers and just pinch it and open your fingers and voila the tissue comes come right off and we can just go ahead and wipe that extra Mod Podge with the tissue that we removed now what we want to do is go ahead and dip our brush and we just want to paint this on like we're pink like we're doing fingernail polish you know how you kind of rub off the excess on the rim we're going to do that you don't have to use an entire lot you know a whole lot just enough to cover it and make sure that you're spreading it on evenly. And so once you've done that, we're gonna take our napkin and place it on there very lightly. Rub it lightly because remember, this is tissue and it will rip on you. Trust me, I've done it enough times to know. Get that on, you know, I've got it placed on there. I've gotten the wrinkles out then we're going to go ahead and take our Mod Podge and we're going to go over ever so lightly on, you know, over the tissue. The, the key thing here is when you add that extra, extra Mod Podge on top of the napkin, you're doing it lightly because it's wet and it will tear on you. Okay, so now that we've allowed it to dry, it only took maybe 10 minutes for this to dry. We're going to use water in our angled brush and we're just going to lightly go around the edge of the tray um, so that the water can loosen that tissue up and it's just going to come off so nice and neatly. Um, you don't want to rub or scrub it. Um, you're just basically dabbing that water along the edge and letting the angled brush do the trick um, you want to do this all the way around um, until you can completely move all of the tissue as you will see here
So now that we've removed all of the tissue, we want to seal the edges. So again, we're gonna take that um, uh, angled brush and put a little bit of Mod Podge on there so that we can seal the edges. Again, this is a gentle motion, right? We don't wanna pull anything apart, rip any tissue, and just go all the way around sealing it and then allow it to dry for about 10 minutes. And guess what? Your brand new tray is all done. Hey y'all, I am in the car again. <laughs> I have someplace else I need to be. So what I did, I grabbed the tray, our final product. This is the one that's a mess that I didn't do <laughs> on the right side. But when you make yours, I'm sure that you're gonna do it um, the right way. But anyway, I hope you guys liked this how-to. Um, next week, I'll come up with something else. I'm actually working on something else for you guys. This is actually fun coming up with things that we can use in our daily diamond painting that'll make it fun. Uh, from organization to storage to just cute seeing things up. But anyway, guys, thank you guys for joining me. Do please do all the YouTube things. I love the comments. You guys are doing so great with the comments. Um, but remember to be kind, take a step back and breathe, and take one moment at a time. In the meantime, be blessed, you guys, and I'll see you on the next episode of Money Paints with Diamonds. Bye.